Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to Frontier Time Lapse. Uh, this is episode number 27. All right. Uh, well, in the beginning, you see me run over to the trees and just to see, you know, their, their growth stage. Uh, they're only at like eight meters. Um, so they're only halfway there. We still have a long way to go with that. Um, I also ran over by the trailer uh, just to show you guys I did go back and pick up the uh, concrete block pellets. Um, you know, the the other three were all the way right where I came out of the, the concrete factory and made that right turn. They're all right there. Um, so I did go back and I did pick them up. Um, so it won't screw up traffic. Um, but today, uh, today we're going to build a sawmill. Um, now we're just going to... Uh, uh, I had to go through all the sawmills and figure out which one I had to get. This one you load with uh, trees, uh, where the other ones it was, you know, like the planks. Um, so what I'm doing here is, of course, I need to uh, level out the ground uh, to put it on. I do leave that big space. Um, that's just going to be grass, and I'm going to just put some trees over there. Um, uh, uh, the area that I'm working at right now is, is for the for the sawmill. Um, I'm probably gonna have uh, two sawmills over here. Uh, one that takes the trees, and then uh, the other one will be, you know, like the furniture place or you know whatever we we choose. Um, but that one's gonna take the planks, um, the planks that this that this particular sawmill that we're putting up uh, produces. Now the the the, um, the beams that I need for uh, the frontiers, um, uh, the metal factory. That one I, I'm going to have to buy, you know, frontiers uh, sawmill. Uh, so all the trees that we have growing right now, once they're done, I'm going to bring uh, half of them, or at least I'm going to load up. Uh, uh, load up the, or sell the logs to the frontier sawmill uh, until it's full so I'll get all that money and then we'll we'll quick buy it um, and then I'll probably keep some wood just to you know keep putting in there for you know two cycles um, and then the rest of the wood will come over here um, you know to make the, the planks um, yep so that's what that's what I'm going to do um, right now, I'm just, you know, painting the ground. Uh, the three stripes was just to figure out which um, gravel I wanted to use. The other two kind of looked too much like, you know, the concrete. Uh, and that's why I didn't use them. Uh, I know when you're up really close, they all look good. Um, but I'm usually not that close to the ground. Uh, it's usually, you know, zoomed out quite a bit, so... I think this color just looks a little bit better. Um, then I'm also using the the gravel and uh, grass, you know, combined, uh, just for like a little border. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it comes out all right. Um, uh, I do put a fence around it. Um, it really wasn't needed. I was just trying to you know separate it a little bit. Um, and this way, if there's a fence, you know, when we you know, transfer the, uh, the uh, wood beams that it makes, or the planks that it makes, uh, we'll actually have to drive around. Um, so, right now I'm just putting down the, the green paint for when we put the uh, grass down. Um, uh, I do put another fence uh, up in that top part, uh, you know, the entrance way. Now here I'm just trying to see the the size uh, that I put down, make sure I'm going to be able to drive around it. I have a really bad habit of, I either make the roads way too big or way too small. <laughs> uh, this one, it's probably a little bit on the small side, but it, it should work fine. Um, if it's not, I can always make it a little bit bigger. It's not a big deal. Um, uh, yeah, so I put a, a chain link fence, um, you know, a good way around, you know, this building. 
and then I use just a little wooden fence you know for the little entryway uh, then we put a, a large uh, I can't remember what tree I used it might have been the oak uh, use the oak tree uh, up front uh, uh, and then then what do I do what do I do uh, oh and then I uh, uh, we're gonna uh, go back and we're gonna pick up the tractor and we pick up the uh, the tree planter um, uh, we're gonna we have 87 trees that we can plant so I'm gonna plant them on the back side um, and that's an American elm I put down all right um, uh, yeah so in in the back of this property that's where I'm gonna put the the tree or uh, excuse me plant the trees uh, you'll see when I'm painting the ground um, I did uh, uh, plow a pathway to see where my property line uh, ended uh, you know so that's uh, that's how I'm working off of that now I don't want to go all the way across the property um, but I, I go like three quarters of the way around um, so yeah so then we're gonna plant all of those trees again there's 87 of them um, the trees take a long time to grow so it's a good time to you know put them down now um, uh, yeah yeah here I'm gonna paint it uh, and then I think after after I paint it and after I uh, uh, plant the trees that's when I put the uh, little pathway in uh, here uh, I screwed up because I always do the you know try to get it at 90 degrees or uh, you know 180 degrees 270 uh, I had it at 280 I believe so when I used a keyboard to move it straight in a straight line it, it went on an angle uh, that was that little mess up there um, yeah so after we plant the trees um, we're gonna you know grab the truck again uh, go over to the uh, coffee uh, factory uh, we're gonna load up the coffee beans uh, get them sold uh, you yeah, know that one it actually pays pretty good I didn't load the the trailer up all the way kind of ran out of room um, with that big forklift that I use uh, but I mean it still pays like 70,000 so that's that's really good uh, after that we're gonna go over and uh, grab the the uh, uh, it, it's the trailer loading trailer um, and we're gonna load up uh, stone and bring that over to the slab production and now one thing I didn't do is I didn't put it on auto cell um, probably next time I go over there I'll put it on auto cell I'll probably load up another trailer or two and then put it on auto cell uh, this way all we have to do is just you know load up stone uh, when I load up the stone I notice that we only have I think 380 something thousand liters of stone uh, so I will need to go back over to that uh, one piece of land and uh, you know get the rest of that stone uh, or at least enough to to fill our silo uh, which is a million liters um, uh, yeah so here here I'm just getting ready to do the path and I, I know it sounds strange and dumb I think this is actually one of my better paths <laughs> usually the the grass strip uh, that I you know you put down in the center that usually always comes out just like the wrong size but I think this one came out pretty good you know for, so for me I, I mean I was happy with that um, you know I'm, I'm not you know that good at the, the landscaping part yet um, but but I really do enjoy doing it um, and I think some of them you know come out looking you know, really nice uh, some of them I, I think are, are really bad but I, again the more I the more I do it the, the better I get um, uh, let me see I, I think that's yeah after we load up the stones then we just kind of put it away and uh, you know end the episode um, you know, a little I guess a little shorter I think I've been usually going about 15 minutes uh, this one's a little bit shorter not by much though um, 
Now, with the trees, I'm not sure what I should buy first. I don't know if I should go to, you know, buy a new piece of land, you know, where it has the train silo so I can load up the sand on the, uh, on the train, you know, right here. Um, or if I should buy the tree harvester. Um, so right now I don't have the money for both. Um, and I don't think there's going to be enough stone or coffee to make up enough. Because I think the land is going to be, I think it's four or five hundred thousand. And I believe the tree harvester is also like four hundred thousand. So I'm not kind of sure which one to do first. Um, I was thinking the tree harvester because I'm going to sell a lot of that wood just to the, um, the sawmill. So we can make quite a bit there. But then I have to spend 100000 on the sawmill itself. Um, and on the land part, I mean, there's still quite a bit of land that we need to buy. And there's a ton of sand that we're going to have to get rid of. Um, so I kind of want to do that so I don't have to keep driving over to the train silo. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's a tough one. Um, if you have any thoughts, you know, shoot it down in the, in the comments. Um, I'm uh, usually like a day ahead of you guys. Um, like this episode is going to go out on uh, Wednesday morning. And um, editing today is Tuesday. Um, so yeah, I might be a, a, a day behind. Um, but yeah, I don't know. But that was it. That was the episode. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, another thing I might try to do in the in the future, because usually I watch the episode and I take kind of notes so I know what I'm going to be doing. Because sometimes I have that memory of a goldfish. You know, only a couple seconds. <laughs> um, uh, but I actually might try to do like a play-by-play -play type of thing. Not sure if that will work out. I might try it, but I don't know if I'll actually keep it. Uh, I'm still saying um too much. I'm trying to get you know, away from that. But all right. That was it. Uh, again, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back next time. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.